English ivy um, causes a lot of different problems stemming from that it, that it is an invasive plant. It can blanket an area and decreases diversity. Very few other plants can compete with it and grow there. One of the biggest issues with ivy is pests. When people have yards with a carpet of ivy all over on the ground, that is ideal habitat for rats. It's also attractive to termites and yellow jackets. And finally, mosquitoes like the moist, shady habitat that ivy provides. Once it hits a tree, it climbs up it, and when it does that, a couple of things happen. One, it can form a nice bacterial growth area around there where lots of mildews and bacterial leaf scorch, other types of things can fester and, and it can cause diseases along the bark of the plant. The other thing is it can weigh down the plant so much that when ice storms come by, big winds, um, it, can, it can just basically act like a kite, catch this wind, uh, catch the ice and blow the tree over. Property owners have a really uh, big responsibility in uh, reducing and eliminating ivy in our area. When ivy is growing up the side of a house, the little roots of the ivy get into the mortar between bricks and weaken the mortar and cause it to crumble and drop out. So what can we do about ivy? Just don't buy it. I like to go all the way around the tree and essentially give it a haircut. You want to make sure that the ivy is taken off like this tree has been done. You remove the ivy um, vines so that there's a space between it and you don't want to pull the vines because that could damage the bark up above. Eventually this will all turn brown like this and it'll just fall off in a heavy wind. What I also suggest is this tree is only partly done. I would then take my hand cultivator and pull so that you've made a nice little area without ivy for the tree to get its water and nutrients. And uh, you do this all the way around it. So essentially you're creating a lifesaver ring. A tree like this, it would take me maybe 20 minutes. And 20 minutes is nothing whenever you think about how important a tree is. If the ivy kills this tree, it's going to cost you close to $1,000 to have it taken down. So 20 minutes can save you a lot, can give you lovely shade, the tree will like it, and best of all, you'll feel really good about what you've done. In this space around here, I feel as if the, uh, this little woodland has a new lease on life. A lot of native plants will be here that the ivy has inhibited from growing.